Being from the city and coming to a small community, not growing up here, it's very clear how supportive they are. I went with my girlfriend overseas for six months, did some backpacking, a bit of life experience. And then when we came back, I said we'd take the first job that comes up, it just happened to be Hilston, and we just jumped straight into it. My first day at Hilston Central School was very welcoming, very friendly. We got to know the staff very easily and the students as well. They were all very supportive and ready to lend me a hand wherever I needed it. And I knew that I could rely on them for help. I chose to work in the TAS faculty because that's my hobby and my interest in life. And I think that really comes across to the kids if they know that you are genuinely interested in it and they become genuinely interested in it as well. There are moments where students approach me in my release periods and ask if they can come into the workshop and keep working on their projects and I know that they have the same passion and dedication that I found and that's probably the most rewarding part of my job. The best aspects of life in Hilson is definitely the people uh, at work and outside of work. Um, we've really been accepted into the community. The town really rallies together and you can just feel that connection between people. Anna and I are very lucky that we get to spend time together at work. Uh, she's working here as an SLSO. And then we can go home and spend afternoons together. My advice to somebody moving here would be to just jump in with two feet and really give it a go. There's a lot to be offered out here. And if you welcome that opportunity, you'll find it's a really great place to live. How far can Teach Rural take you?